remember when we used to think that the world was going to end? Well, I used to think <laughs> that the world was going to end. Mm-hmm. You even had the license plate. <clears throat> I did. <laughs> I had a 2012 license plate. I was convinced. I was like, those Mayans, man, they knew it. I thought it was real, for sure. The computer thing. Remember the Y2K? Yeah, I thought that too. Yeah. I stayed home for Y2K. Yeah. Paranoid. I was too. The clock rolled over. Planes falling from the sky. Yeah, everybody's worried about the whole grid shutting down, right? And they wouldn't be able to get it up for months. And people would run out of food. I, I was listening to Art Bell a lot back then. Oh, cheers. Oh, cheers. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy eight, New Year, Jenna. Eight years of episodes, too. Yeah. <clears throat> eight years of episodes, 2018. 2018 doesn't sound like a real number. It's one of those numbers you say it and you go, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess you're right. But like 2018, that's like way too close to 2020, which is like space. That's like the future. It's like a movie. You know, like Alien. Like what was, when you watch the first Alien, <clears throat> the one with Sigourney Weaver from the late 70s, it was like 1979. What do you think the timeline was supposed to be? It's probably 2001, you know? Because <laughs> <laughs> there's like a lot of movies. Like I think Blade Runner was something like 2017 or something like that. I want to say, I don't remember, but I want to say Blade Runner was like 2030 or something oh, was like it? that. There was all the flying cars and shit, remember? Mm-hmm. Weren't there? Flying cars, or am I thinking of Fifth Element? No, no, there was flying cars because I remember the cars going through like the cool billboards and stuff. And I, I think. I, confused my sci-fi movies a lot like old ones blade runner is 2019 <laughs> 2019 yeah. oh my god that's, that's insane that's a year from now that's wow that's weird that shows how slow it actually is technology it thinks well, it's, you think it's fast it shows how bad movie writers are at guessing <laughs> i don't think it shows anything else right so I, I think the guy who's been the best at predicting shit was like wasn't hg wells really good I feel like H.G. Wells, the science fiction author from, I think he was from the 1800s. H.G. Wells. Yeah. But I think he predicted a lot of shit. Yeah. There's a couple articles about all the stuff he predicted. Oh, really? Yeah. <clears throat> the many futuristic predictions of H.G. Wells that came true. All right, let's see what we got here. What did he do? Born 150 years ago. Phones, email, and television. What? Is that real? In Men Like Gods in 1923, Wells invites readers to a futuristic utopia that's essentially Earth after thousands of years of progress. In this alternate reality, people communicate exclusively with wireless systems that employ a kind of co-mingling of voicemail and email-like properties. Holy shit! For in utopia, except by previous arrangement... People do not talk together on the telephone, he writes. A message is sent to the station of the district in which the recipient is known to be, and there it waits until he chooses to tap his accumulated messages. Whoa. And any that one wishes to repeat can be repeated. Then he talks back to the senders and dispatches any other messages he wishes. The transmission is wireless. How? Mm-hmm. How? The, what? I'd like to know if he did <laughs> drugs back then, like if he was doing mushrooms and. Yeah, man, I want to know. He also imagined forms of true entertainment. Uh, it says in "When the Sleeper Wakes" from 1899, the protagonist rouses from two centuries of slumber to a dystopian London in which citizens used wondrous forms of technology like the audio book airplane and television yet suffer systematic oppression and social injustice what in the fuck man Mm. what the fuck hg wells lasers dude how is he so good it's probably mushrooms i mean think of something that hasn't been invented in a hundred years now what would you invent like (sighs) well you know what here's our problem It's, I think it's almost impossible, once you know something exists, to imagine a world in which it didn't exist. See, you and I are unique because we're old as fuck. I'm older as fucker than you, but we remember when there was no internet. I think we're the last of the people that are going to remember what life is like when there's no internet. Yeah. 
and what's next? What's the thing that hasn't been invented that we'll remember we saw the first of, like VR? Good question. Like having glasses always being... Well, I think that Magic Leap shit that, you know, that you've seen that new headset that they uh, are, are saying they're going to eventually wind up selling. You have like a hip pack and you wear these goggles. Mm -hmm. Dude, that seems like step one to me. Yeah. That, Apple's putting all their money in AR instead of VR for that reason, right? That's what this is, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> dude, dude, this looks like Blade Runner. Yeah. Maybe that movie's not so far off. The uh, the one from Columbus, Ohio, Blade Runner. Oh, like maybe uh, they're only off ready, by a year. Ready Player One. Ready Player One. Have you seen the preview for that? That's what no. pretty much this is exact same thing is right oh, here. It. But this is the Microsoft one. What uh, is the difference? This is Magic Leap. The, ready Player One's that, a movie. So Magic Leap is not Microsoft. Which no. one's the Microsoft one? Uh, that would be Hololens. That's Magic right. Leap is the one that's in Florida. They went way away from everybody else so that they're not getting their uh, <coughs> technology compromised by. And Spies. these are the ones where they had that little uh, dancer that yep. dances on your yep. hand? Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. So this is the really intense, lifelike, augmented reality yeah. one. Nobody knew what it was going to look like. They thought any prototype had a big, giant backpack on, and they finally oh. got it down to this little puck. This is the first time we're actually seeing what... No, this also might not be the final version. It could be smaller. It could be a little bigger. Don't Dude. exactly know. Looks cool. It looks very cool. It looks like superhero cool. Yeah, but the thing is, is it? It's so obvious that you're wearing it. <coughs> yeah, they need to get rid of that part and integrate it into the headset. There's like this hip part, like I don't battery. Think you're supposed to wear it in public. At least this. This is probably like a home work type thing. Mm. Like wherever you'd use a personal computer. I feel like we're looking at the seed of a future thing that's going to eat us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at that. I'm like that. That is exactly how it starts. The electronics cling to the outside <clears throat> and become inseparable. And then slowly they work their way into the organism itself, to the inside. The organism will accept symbiosis as long as the electronics stay on the outside. <laughs> but if it goes inside, like if the only way to use your cell phone was to stick it in your ass, <laughs> right? That's the only way it works. We have a new cell phone and it works. Uh, it, you know, all you have to do is just stick it in your ass and then just carry it around with you and you make calls with your mind and it's a flip Yeah, you know, <laughs> we would say no way we can't do it But as, as long as the electronics on the outside like so dude, they're gonna give you a helmet You're gonna the electronics are gonna go right into your eyes. You're gonna see some shit. That's not there. You're like, okay Wearable clothing uh, tech is the future. There's a, even I think Levi's and Microsoft or Google teamed up and they're they're trying to do a jacket like a tech jacket where you just look at your jacket and read text and stuff off the sleeve and stuff. Imagine having a like a shirt and going like, today I want a purple shirt. Today I want a blue shirt. Or you're getting text messages pop up on your shirt. Or if there's a lost child, the child's face is on everybody's shirt. Fuck. <laughs> I think wearable clothing is going to be pretty big soon. Yeah, especially if you could like, Tap. if you could get your arm like, if it could actually could open up like where it looks like a screen yeah or if it can get that good where there's no benefit like and nobody wants a cell phone with a shitty screen right right yeah because like that isn't that like the big d debate now they all look amazing to me because i'm going blind i can barely <laughs> see but the if i look at like the iphone x versus the google pixel 2 xl versus i'm they all look really good. Yeah, it's more like brightness now to me. It's like, oh, this one seems brighter. I guess. They all look really good. They yeah. all look amazing. I mean, we're really nitpicking, which is good. It just shows you how good things are. But could you ever reproduce that on your sleeve? Yeah. They already have. That th perfect? Well, n n like like the technology is not 100% there, but they already have bendable LCDs, right? And like stuff like that. But the thing is having it feel like clothing instead of like this big chunk that's on your shirt. Like right. those things you see at the mall. Uh, yeah, but yeah. I like I had this uh, I was talking to Gino of Speedweed about this and the idea of having a hat <coughs> Imagine a hat where you can have any logo you want in your hat. You could change it any day and then yeah. uh, You could also have it so it just moves or something like if it's a Nike swoosh You see like the smoke coming out of the you know How wow. cool would that be just and it's weird that we don't see that as a, a normal thing yet because it seems like that's already there. You could do that hat right now, probably. Have a little 3G connection so you can download things on it, you know, using the little thing on the top of the hat. So yeah, you probably could. Button. You probably could. I mean, what anything that you can imagine in the future is probably going to be possible. Like anything. 
anything you can imagine. I don't think there's going to be a time in our lifetime where where change is going to happen as quickly as it's happening now. 